Right folks, here today we have a dog that's come to me for some training. This is an 11 month old male Springer Spaniel called Bo. Um, very headstrong. Um, very bad on lead work. Well, they're very bad at pretty much everything. He's a lovely fella. Hey Bo, you're a good boy, eh? You're a good boy, eh mate? But you're a bit mad, so we need to bring some stability into your life my friend so I'm going to take you through the training things that we're going to do with him and hopefully by the end of it we'll have a dog that's uh, more controllable so so like I said to you last time David we need to get some stability okay. so open the back yeah, tell him to sit and stay sit. stay put the full stay. hand up stay 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 Stay, sit, Bo, sit. Uh, I think he's staying, I think. Uh, stay. wait. Stay, Bo, stay. The wrong way around. Stay, stay. Good boy, good boy, good boy, good boy. Now stay, 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 stay. Okay, get him down. Come on, Bo. Right, here we go. Hey. And as we see, he's... Just oh, pulls lead. all the time like that on the Sit. pulls all the time on oh. the lead. So. Six. Boom. Six. Yeah. So he's very headstrong, as you can see on the lead. So we're going to do some um, lead training with him. Oh. Um, I've told David the best thing to do is is try and keep a tight leash on him, but then when he when he's fine it'll slacken off and keep it high on the head that's it like that and then we'll uh, walk on but um if he starts pulling just stop Bo. and say Bo. and say his name just stop Bo. and say his name Bo. so tell him to walk on, walk on Bo. stop Bo. Good, boy. Walk on. good boy starting to pull just Bo. stop Me. Good boy. I think he's wanting to do go to the toilet. So uh, right, we'll just leave it there for the moment, folks, and we'll get back to you once he's uh, done his ablutions. Right now, this is half an hour with Bo, and he's now walking pretty good on the slip lead. The, if you look at the lead, it's pretty slack most of the time. We're walking past the chicken run, which he would go mad about before he's now looking at the chickens and taking no notice slack lead this dog before was pulling in front pulling behind nearly tripping the owner over this lovely little springer is now under control how have we done this you may ask well I tried all my other training methods um, in the end, shouting very loud was the only thing that would sort of register with him. But uh, he's come back today and he was exactly the same, pulling and everything. So, aghast to a lot of people, I got my training collar out. Now, training collars are, you know, I should think only be used by people who know how to use them. Um, we had the collar on him. For 20 minutes and when he lunged forward he got a leave and he got a zap um, a very low powered zap and there was no yelping nothing else it just stopped him in his tracks and didn't know what to do so then he got praised by his owner and uh, I think I had to zap him three times well maybe four and now he's listening to his owner getting lots of praise before this dog was completely out of control he's not right yet he's looking look at him he's a springer he looks at everything that's going waggy tail but then if the owner says let's go good boy there we go he's looking back he's a springer come on he's a springer that's what they do but this dog was out of control but now we've got a dog that will walk 
on a slack lead alongside its owner. So, whereas before the owners were besides themselves, didn't know what to do with the dog, we now have a dog that hopefully all members of the family can now enjoy. Their daughter, who is, how old's your daughter now? 12. Loves the dog, but was getting pulled over by him. Hopefully now, we'll have to get her around here the weekend and see how she does. But uh, this dog now is a manageable dog on the lead. Next thing we'll have to move on to is a retrieve. Before you threw him a ball, he'd go running off through the hedge and everybody around the district would have to go around chasing after him. So we've got to move on to that next. But now that he's listening to his owner, because before he wouldn't even look at you. So now he's a dog that's under control. Look at him, he wants to be with his dad. You know, this is a, a completely different animal. Okay, folks, we're going to see the chickens again. Look, telling him to sit, good boy. Look at that. That dog before was lunging at the chickens and all sorts. Right, okay, folks, many thanks. Right, here we are. This is the uh, third day of uh, training with Bo. Now, before there was no retrieve, there was no whatever. You saw the walking yesterday, and we've got him now interacting with his owner loving it and we've got him on a long leash so he's still got a bit of a strain around his neck but he's starting to retrieve i bought this this soft squeaky toy for him that he's interested in good boy See? and this is a completely different dog look at this look out there like that call him in call him in good boy good boy ah he's a good boy This is good, good first boy. retrieving. Well Look at that, absolutely yeah. superb. Fast out, fast back. Come here, come here. Good boy, good boy. I think once more, and then they'll think we'll bang it on the head for that because he might be getting a bit bored and we don't want that. Good boy, good boy. Come back. Bo. Great retrieving. Bo. Come here. This was a dog that three days ago was. was not allowed off a lead okay we've got a long lead on him it just keeps a little bit of tension on the neck so he thinks that maybe we're still in control and um you know we can extend this um as we get better and better with the retrieve but at the moment he's doing really well ain't you beau wait mate hey you good boy yeah right here we now have beau this was a this is him sitting on a loose lead but he's been told to stay and although he's pushing his limits a bit look at him uh, uh, uh. look at the uh, 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 he good gets boy. back up good boy and with a springer you can excuse the wind folks with a springer you can occupy them with their mind and then and um exercise them with their mind as much as you can with their body especially with a young dog look at this young dog he's taking everything in and yet under control. Lovely little fella. And then when his master wants to move on, they move on. Um, I'll just stop him there. That's it. Tell him to sit. Bow, bow, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Standing in front to give that command. It, it does make a big difference, you know. He's not doing it. Good. Good boy. Good boy. But you know, whereas before he wasn't enjoying his walks with his dad, he was wanting to pull away and whatever, he's quite happy being with his dad now. His dad is his, his master. And uh, when you've got a dog like that, it's a lot more enjoyable to own. This is not a working dog. This is a, a family pet, but it's a springer. Oh. There we go. So you've seen a, a bird or something. He wants to go, yet. Yeah. Oh, stop. Sit. Sit. Good boy. 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 Good
six. Boom, six. Good boy, good boy. There's a lot of work to do yet, but he is an 11 month old Springer that wants to, any birds flying over, he's as keen as mustard. Just take him down here to the gate and he can watch the tractors. Silage making time here in Guernsey. We are the, what are we, 28th today? Yep. 28th Six. today. Both. Six. Good boy. And the boys are moaning. Look at all the swallows. Absolutely fantastic to see so many swallows. All coming up off the grass. They're, they're, they're coming the off the grass because the silage boys are mowing. And this will be great because we've got uh, Liberation Day in 10 days time and we'll be able to do our clay pigeon shooting in this field. Which I didn't think we'd be able to do. But uh, certainly mowing early, getting on the ball. And we'll just see the tractor going down the field there. Oh, he's right over there. He's going around that way. Can't quite see him. But there's two of them. No, there's two of them. There's another one up the top there. All right, here's Bo with his owner. He's looking at the chickens. Uh, two days ago, he was lunging all over this bench. Absolute, you know, out of control. And here he is with his dad getting praise. His dad's continuously talking to him, praising him. And he's fine, taking it all in. What a lovely scene, man and his dog. Okay, folks, thanks for watching.